What's good, YouTube? It's your boy. Sh Brief got heat, man. Today, for you guys, I have a story time. A story time for when I was gypped for my Black Cement 3s from 2012. I don't know. Yeah, but this story's crazy. So just follow along. Yo, who the fuck is this? Rewind if you want to hear something again for me. Just stay tuned. Can you leave, bro? Who? Come on, you flex it. So here's the shoe if you guys don't know what the Black Cement 3s look like. To me, one of the best colorways for the 3s. And here's the story. Alright, so you know, when I was little, I was hyped up. The deal was coming out. You know, I had to camp out. I had to camp out down at the mall. So I'm camping out. And then they do did some raffle out of nowhere. And then I won the raffle for my size. So after I run a raffle, I still had to wait like maybe three hours until the store literally opened. Alright, so as I was saying, I had to wait three hours for them to reopen. So as I was waiting on like maybe 40 other people. They told my brother, my brother was salty so he didn't win for me. Lies, you feel me? Had to catch that dub, no, no L's this season. Alright, so as I was waiting, the store opened. Finally it opened like around, it opens at 11 o'clock. And then I was third in line. So as everyone coming out the store, they come out the store happy as hell, soup as hell. So I was like, I couldn't wait. I was like, oh shit, like my kicks, like for me, like I was like all pumped, like, like damn, like a man right now for me. And I was only in sixth grade, so then I got into the store. I got to the store, handed them my raffle. They said, okay, I'm gonna go get the shoes in the bag. So man, I was like the little bench they had in Full Lock. I was wearing like this. I was wearing like. Bro, it was like a whole 30 minutes and them niggas still ain't come out. Like, it took mad long for them to get a size 8 black cement 3s. And I was the third person. Like, come on, bro. What you doing with my kicks? So I will continue to wait because, you know, these kicks is fire. I ain't had nothing else to do. So I was waiting. I was waiting until the lady came out. She was like, oh, I'm sorry. We don't have no more size 8. What, nigga? What you, what you mean? You don't got no more size 8? Like, come on. Don't start with that bullshit, bro. So then, after that, I was like, what do you mean you don't got no size 8? She was like, there's no more. We out of stock. Then I called my brother up. So I called my brother up. He came down to the store. He was like, complaining. Like, oh, you shouldn't you guys have the size? It's a raffle and all that. And then, they were like, no, we don't, sir. We ran out. So I was confused, because how was we ran out? And the store just opened, and it's a raffle out. So, so then I called the manager of the store, whoever was running that store at the time. So I called the manager over. I was like, excuse me, sir. I don't got my pair. Yo, they jipped me. I did that raffle and all that. And then I got mad as hell. Like, man, they just jipped me, buddy. I fucking kicks, my Like, come on, son. I ain't getting my kicks. Like, I'm a little ass kid. I like, get my kicks. I want to get my kicks and go home. That's all I want to do. Instead, they want to, oh, you ain't got no more sizes, bro. Nigga, you know you got all them sizes in the back of the store. Like, come on, bro, stop lying. Then, my brother was like, oh, you guys are lying. You guys are backdooring them. At the time, I didn't know what backdooring means. So, all right, if you guys don't know, backdoor means, so you have a connect that foot locker, right? Then a, a release comes. So, backdooring, if you don't know, is when you have a connect that foot locker, foot action, and you the to stores. And there's a general release that comes out. Not general release, but like a tough ass release. And you say you want to buy them, instead of waiting online or getting a raffle, just go to the store and the guy that you know hands them to you. Hands them your size and all that. So that's what my brother was assuming that they did. Because, you know, you can't just do that. Like, you can't just not have an eight and a half and I'm the third person online, so it's not right. So my brother was like, oh, yo, give me my kiss all that. What the other shit, yo? They were just wailing out. Like, you were just going off. And I was just like sitting there like, I ain't know what was going on. I was mad as hell to get my kicks, but you feel me? Like, I knew my brother was gonna come in clutch. I was like, yo, let him rock, let him rock. So then, the manager went, let me get up. The manager went to the back of the store to get my kicks, see if they got my size. And he comes out with a pair. A pair that had a little sticky note. Like a little sticky note on one of the shoes. And it said, Andrew. So I was like, my name not Andrew, my name is like, I, I, didn't, I didn't say nothing at first until my brother saw it, actually. My brother saw it, he was like, yo, who's Andrew? And he showed the manager. The manager was like, kind of like, dumbfounded, like he didn't know what to say. So he turned to his workers. He was like, and he knew someone was backdooring already, because you can't just like, you can't just do that and say no to a customer. He knew someone was backdooring. So he turned around to his workers. He was like, yo, who's backdooring? Who's backdooring? All that other shit. And then no one said it. And of course, no one's going to say it for me. Like, no one's going to admit that they're wrong. No one's going to admit that they're wrong to get fired from their job. Until then some little white boy come in. Andrew, of course, the one that had to stick it on my kicks. He was like, he came to this little, he came to the, one of the people at the cashier. He was like, yo, like, he didn't say it, but like, for me, like, he was like, he, I'm gonna show you how he did it. He was like, got kicks for me, like, I'm like, little, little, like, little, like, smirk for me, like, though. I'm like, little, hey. So, it's the cashier knew, but the cashier did not go back. So, I walked out the store, happy as hell, my kicks, you feel me, got my kicks, like, 
four years strong with these bad boys, you feel me? We're still the same size, still wearing them, you feel me? We in this bitch, alright. And then, that's the story time. I'm gonna tell you guys, if you if you go to the Foot Locker Foot Action or whatever retailer, stop chewing shit! You win a raffle, make sure you get your kicks. If they tell you they don't have it, they're lying, they're back door. Get them niggas fired, stop doing that shit because they reselling. You know what the move is. You know the move. Stop reselling 2K17, niggas, stop moving. Uh, stop reselling. Fuck you, talking about, bro. So you feel me? Don't lose your kicks. Fight for your kicks. Do whatever you gotta do to get your kicks. Just like your boy. Shh. We got he did. Fuck me. Alright, so I'm out, YouTube. Thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already for more great videos. Peace. Stop reselling 2017.